Uh, hi, Mom. Hi, honey. That signal, I can barely hear you. Uh, yeah. Dumb cell phones. <laughs> so, were you enjoying the pizza? Pizza? <gasps> <Zach? gasps> you there? You got me a pizza? Well, yeah, I was just reminiscing about how we used to order a large pepperoni pizza at Grant's when we would visit with your dad. So, I owe you money to you guys. I just got the text notice from the delivery kid. Said he knocked, but got no answer, so he left it on the porch. Uh, yeah, we were just in the shed. No worries. Enjoy. Miss you lots. Oh, miss you too. Oh, thanks, Mom. Thank you so much. Realm, anything means anything.
an idea. Like a bug. 
you thinking what I'm thinking? Hey, you lucky bugs! Get your family, get your friends! It's party time in Peekaboo! Hi, Mom. Thanks again for the pizza. It was amazing. We even ended up having some friends over. could bring so many together. Oh, by the way, Grant says next time you order, get one with anchovies. Love you, Zach. Come on, team, the day is young. Let's go out and get us some Shrinkinator parts. The award for most handsome snail goes to me. Thank you, Lo, you're all excellent judges. Not the answer I expected. What's up with all of you? Rain's not expected to let up till tonight. Looks like it's a stay inside day today. You're kidding, right? Just stay inside and do nothing all day? I know. Tragic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, please. This is silly. Like Mom always said, a little rain won't hurt anyone. Uh, Zach, I don't think you should go outside. Uh, see? What's so bad about... <laughs> Oh, yes, it's true. Into each life, a little rain must fall. Or in Zack's case, a big rain drop. <laughs> Just the way I like it. I bet two blueberries that I could be back in a minute. You're off! Pay up, Chowser. No, uh, uh, uh. You said a minute. That was only ten seconds. Ah, fine. I guess we're staying in. So, what are we gonna do all day? You know, I recall you had a school essay to write about your summer, Zach. If I ever get to school again. What kind of an attitude is that? We'll get this Shrinkinator fixed, my boy, and get you right back in time for full days of biology, math, and English class. Oh, boy! When you put it that way, I can't wait. <sighs> okay, what have you got in mind? Write that big school essay you were worried about. The one about your summer vacation. Yeah, get it out of the way today. Mm, ah, here it is. Describe interesting moments from your summer and tell about how they helped you grow. <laughs> Grow? <laughs> How can I write an essay about growing when I ended up at millimeters high? Well, there's growing and there's growing. Do we have to remind you how far you've come since your first day? You were a terrified ball of clutch! <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. I remember it well. <laughs> Monsters! Where? Where are they? Jack! <laughs> <laughs> lemonade glass and the stuff made you all goofy? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just totally the best and greatest stuff ever in the whole Shining moments this summer, too. I was wondering, are you tired? You've been running through my mind all day. <laughs> this is it! <laughs> Farewell, cruel world! Huh. 
What do you know? Did it just swallow the <laughs> Your fight is ours, Sid! At least it was an hour and not every mealtime. Yeah, that appetite of yours can sure take us on some unexpected turns. Oh, where's Chowser and Sid when you need them? Delicious! Three, two, one, stop! Whoa! We win! Yum. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Aw, oh, come on. I spring one little trap. Look, if I didn't, we'd never have met Crazy Fred. Yeah, we made a lot of new friends this summer. Welcome to Fred and Bob's Channel of Doom! No, down here! Oh, not we got you covered. We got you covered! I look so, so gorgeous. You talking to me? No. Oh. I'm nice, Bubkiss. Remember that. You think you're here, and why is he talking to me like I'm a moron? Mm. The boy has great potential. One day, he could be my equal. <laughs> Of course, there's friends, and then there's friends. Right, Zach? Oh, don't even go there. Oh. Zach and Lydia sitting in a tree. Isn't it beautiful? What do you think, Zach? Is there maybe something you, you want to say to me? Zach, you're so sweet, but I just don't think I could trust myself alone with you. Not until you tell me you love me. The most romantic day of your life! Oh, boy. Ah! Tell me you love me. Now and forever. Why don't you... <gasps> okay, that's plenty already. Ugh. Can you imagine if they did go steady? Oh, <laughs> come on, stop! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> as if we don't already get enough of her mom as it is. Yeah, love that Adilla, with all her sugary sweet talk. Lydia, take out the trash! Lydia, tie up the hostages! Lydia! 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 You miserable mush brain mooks! I'll give you a sack, as in the sack! You're as bad as those idiot roaches outside! What do I pay you for? You're too stupid seeking missiles pointed at yourself! Shut up! You're fired! <laughs> what a sweetie! And that's quite the little cuddly bear, too. <sighs> Stop doing that! But no match for those brainiac roaches. <laughs> you know, one out of two is pretty impressive, yeah? Yeah, that's like 70% successness. <laughs> that's almost perfect. One, uh, this one, one, uh, that out. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it's 2 o'clock now, and I was born on a Tuesday, so uh, 1 and 1 is 11. Uh, yeah, 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 yes. oh, yeah. yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> they may be dumb, but there sure are a lot of them. Oh. <laughs> hey, remember when I infiltrated their camp? Oh, yeah, dressed as Roach in the Roach. <laughs> <laughs> Squad, turn hot! Now listen up, you will be expected to wake before sunrise every day, polish the latrines, scrub the mess hall floor. In all my years training recruits, I have never met a lowlier maggot than you. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't cut it as a roach, but with the kind of teamwork that you all bring, the four of us can run rings around those guys. Come on, team! Willow! I'm on it! Come on, guys! Let's do this!
are like family to me, but I sure miss my normal-sized family sometimes, especially mom. Well, speaking of your mom... <laughs> this is from her. I've been saving it for a special occasion. <laughs> Guess a rainy day counts. Yeah, <laughs> Hey, Mom. Was just thinking about you. Can't wait to see you at the end of this summer. You know, just thinking about it makes all my problems seem tiny. The sun's up. Back to work. Guess we're back in business. Love ya, Zach. Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> And as the group of school kids walked further into the dark forest, they turned around to find that Steve was missing, they called out his name, but got no reply. Except for the rustling of a nearby bush, the group approached the bush. Closer, closer, then, just as they were about to reach the bush, Zombie Steve jumped out and growled at his friends. I want brains. Ah! <sighs> oh, please. I'm going to take a walk. Uh, Sid, you shouldn't go off alone in the dark. Even I know that. Yeah, and we all know how smart he is. Or what? I'll get bitten by a zombie? Ooh, I'm, I'm so scared. <laughs> Being scared out of my mind sure works up an appetite. Anyone else hungry? I'm not very good at this. Uh, what I wouldn't give for a s'more right now. Some more of what? N no, a s'more. Chocolate, marshmallow, and graham crackers? Hmm. Since taking a while, I'd better go find him. Not alone, you're not. We're coming with you. Yeah! Wait, what? Did? Is that you? Uh. Ooh, uh, <laughs> sorry, buddy. I uh, didn't realize you were taking a bathroom break. Uh, sounds like you need more fiber. Uh. Ah! Knock it off, Sid. We're not scared. Uh. Uh, I take that back. Run! Looks like our group has gone from telling scary stories to living in one. <laughs> but it's going to take more than delicious brains to get out of this zombie buffet. <laughs> Stay back! Stay back! Uh, okay, I'm open to suggestions. Zach, we have to make a run for it! Running! Yeah, running sounds good, but you, you know what sounds even better? Flying! No argument here. <laughs> we can't leave the Shrinkinator's fear. Less talking and more flying! Uh-oh. What? Uh, nothing. Uh, just don't look behind us. Why? What's behind us? Oh, my God! Whoa! Die bombing oh. zombie flies! <laughs> You're the expert! How do you defeat a zombie? Uh, I don't know. I was always too scared to finish any horror movies. Huh? There! Fly us over there! You mean the giant, dark, scary-looking shadow of mystery? Yep, that's the one. Anywhere's better than here! <laughs> Willow, Chow 
Bowser's gonna eat my friend! Boy, is he gonna be disappointed. Oh, oh no! This is not good! It's a matter of life or death. What do you think this is? Jeez. Willow, I got it. be safe in here. This whole thing is made from grade A American plastic. Well, first we should acknowledge how awesome I was for getting us in here, right? Huh? All right. Congratulations, Zack, on being the first human to ever unscrew the plastic cap. <sighs> then we should probably try to make a break for the shed. Gramps will know what to do. Yeah, if he's not a zombie already. Oh, good point. Still, we better not waste any time. Oh, hey, I have an idea. Uh, can those things knock? I'm not one of them, you idiots. Let me in. <laughs> what are you screaming at? I told you I'm not one of them. What about him? Oh, that's just Nat. What I meant to say is, yeah, he's turned. If I get eaten, I'm blaming you. Oh, who would want to eat you? You probably taste as bad as you look. Why, you? I can't believe we just let you in. What are you doing here, Adilla? You think I want to be here? Trapped in this plastic prison with the insectables. But in case you haven't noticed, it's a zombie apocalypse! Hey, why aren't you in your tower? Seems like that'd be a pretty good place to be right about now. Look at Mr. Perceptive here. That's where I was headed. But as soon as we passed the mushrooms, my rogue servant started turning. And now I have to ride out the end of the world with you. I've had just about enough. and succulents. something to reflect the light. The Shrinkinator Mirror! 
I thought you were supposed to be good with that thing. Well, excuse me. In case you haven't noticed, we're going to be swarmed any minute now, and I'm starting to get a headache. Oh, cry me a river. Are all humans as whiny as you? Quiet. Let me concentrate. Oh, give me that. <laughs> So are we going to do something with this, or do you just want to look at yourself? And here I was wondering why we don't hang out more. Angle it at the sun. If you keep jerking the mirror around like this, I swear I'll eat your brain first when I turn. Oh, yeah? Well, I hope you choke on it. Ah! Now! Uh. Oh, sparkling. <laughs> not be zombies, but we're still enemies. And now that I have my roaches back, you're mine! Hey, what's that behind you? What? <laughs> Sayonara! <laughs> Rex, what happened last night? I'll explain later. But right now, we should probably head home. Good enough for me. I'll get you, insectables! Your time will come. Brains, and he said, Brains! <laughs> it was hilarious. You remember turning? What can I say? Snail brain's a mysterious thing. Well, I'm glad you had fun. Me? I'm just happy to not be terrified by anything for five minutes straight. <laughs> oh, Gramps, it's you. Of course it's me. I'm glad to see you're all okay. There's a rare mushroom in this part of the yard that only blossoms once every 50 years. If you inhale its spores, you could become... Infected? Uh, well, yes. How did you know that? Oh, I just used my brain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Shrinkinator's refractor here. I've been looking for that. Okay, this part's crucial, Chowser. Too tight, you bounce sky high. Too loose, you crash hard. Ah, D flat, perfecto. Oh, rumbly dumbly. Someone needs a snack. Oh, you're the best, buddy boy. Mm. Mm. More like servant mm. boy. <laughs> you didn't let him just wait on you all day like that? What about teamwork? What? I didn't ask. Hey, look how happy it makes him. Uh, pick up the breeze a notch, pal. <laughs> you rock. Win-win or not, this has gone too far, Zach. Cut the breeze, Chowser. Uh, more air, please. <laughs> Could have been worse. Halt! Like this, for example. Well, they say the best way to find oneself is to serve others. Is Zack about to be served up to these ants? <laughs> oh, look, I'm drooling. <laughs> Ah, I'm really sorry about the wall. You know, that, that'll buff right out. Oh! 
to the grand hall now. For caterpillar, many do consider them a gourmet treat. Oh, or is that just me? Anyway, back to dinner. I mean, the show. <laughs> what trap? <laughs> Pretty lame. Huh? What the? Lame paper cup? Not so lame hole in the ground. Come on, guys! Hmm. Something dragged Chowser that way. It's strong it can drag Chowser anyway. Oh, I'm gonna get out of here! 
And yeah, us? Take the 
heat. I guess he'll have to get out of the kitchen. I wonder if he'll find the door in time. <laughs> Let's hope not. Uh, hey, Sid, we're looking for you. We're supposed to clean out the lab as a surprise for Gramps, remember? Yeah, what are you doing? Me? Uh, working on my base tank. But Gramps is only out for a few hours, and there's tons to do. Sorry, taking a personal day. We have personal days? Hey, what did you call it when you spent all day uh, helping those ants rebuild their anthill, huh? Uh, I think I called it spending all day helping those ants rebuild their anthill. Or uh, the time you went traipsing off, you know, looking for shrinkinator parts by yourself. Sid, we were working. Well, I'm working too. A base tan is not a joke. Without it, you can get a really nasty burn. I rest my case. Oh my gosh! Trouser! What happened? Alien! Death ray! From up high! They want our grapes! Grapes? Garblavy! <laughs> it was so young! What's he talking about? I don't know, but sounds bad. We gotta see what it's about. Sid, let's bust the boot. I can't hear you, cause snails don't have ears. Yes, they do. Well, they don't. Then how do you hear us the rest of the time? Uh, who says? Maybe I'm a real good guesser. Forget him, Willow. Whatever it is, we have to stop it. It could destroy the yard. Just don't work too hard. Wouldn't want you to pull a lounging muscle. Galaxy is a heavy yoke, Willow. A heavy yoke. It was like a giant destructo ray. Like, no, no. It was like an alien power beam. Like, silence. Whatever this ray is, it sounds really scary. scary. No, you lumber-headed lout. It sounds perfect. Especially since you're going to get it for me. Now go! Before the insectables get there first! Move them! Yes, your crabbiness! Eh, the heck with Willow. You've earned this. You deserve to lie here in the sun for one day. Oh, your friends head off to a fiery dump. Yeah, stop it! Chill. Relax. T -t -t Talk about the weather. Uh, I oh. I wonder why it's so lazy out. Hazy! Does not go! No, not lazy, hazy! I am not lazy. Wow. You were right, Chowser. This place is scorched. What happened? Huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Shh. 
Sure you are. I'm not. Are not lazy. Stop calling me that. How about shirking, slothful, sluggish, bone idle, work shy bum? Eh, go back to the first one. Lazy, 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 lazy. Ah, stop it already. Uh, I can't take the kill. <laughs> Thank you for saving 
what a curious celebration our funny flying friends have thrown. And the guest of honor doesn't exactly get cake and ice cream. <laughs> you sure that metal detector even works, Gramps? The only thing I'm detecting is severe levels of boredom. Plus, I'm starving. <laughs> Oh, no. It's been tracking your bionic arm this whole time. You sure it's my arm and not my magnetic personality? <laughs> More like your repulsive breath. I know, I know. I'd be jealous, too. Just look at this smile, this dimple. Those zits, that skin cloud. <laughs> Come on, guys. Who's more charismatic? <laughs> Willow, no question. Zach! No, Willow! Uh, what? You guys wouldn't know charisma if it hit you in the face. I hear something over here. Some kind of ceremony. Food! Chowser! Who goes there? Oh! What is your business here? Business? No business. Born out of business. Everything must go. Uh, so sorry to interrupt. one now. What are we, spare parts? You're just in time for the Festival of Light. For generations, we have given daily thanks to the great gloom. I insist you be my special guest. You and your friends must join our feast. Oh! We be thrilled. I'm thrilled. I guess a little snack could hurt. Oh! If a shrinkinator part is in there, oh, I'd rather stay shrunk. For you. A bug zapper! Willow! It's your hand! Oh, oh, me! Oh. So pretty. So purple. Willow, stop! Oh, what's happening? She's drawn to the light! Seize them! Seize them at once! Watch their safe! 
It's vintage. Uh, I used to play with this when I was a kid. This is what I risked my life for. Your lost childhood. Trans box full of all kinds of gears and electronics. Gramps can use its guts for yeah. shrinkinator. Wow. He's giving up his guts for us? What a hero. Chowser, keep it down. If Dilla finds out about this robot, she'll want it! Yeah, no kidding. Huh? What the- Frozen like a deer in headlights, what will young Zack do? Perhaps make a hollow gesture of heroism? Oh, I hope so. Fallen heroes always attract flies. <laughs> Human, he must have run outside. We'll drink Yapin and Kokanin. Oh, yeah, they right here. Whoa. He magically disappeared. I gotta tell Hai. Seriously, Hai, he's magical. Yeah, and I'm a unicorn. The fool, it's gonna take us hours to get these guys back to Adila. What about the human? Check out those red buttons here. He's gonna be with Like somebody forgot the words to a song. Huh? <laughs> okay, then. I'll just be leaving. What? Oh, wait, uh, but you were. And uh, now you're. <gasps> Are you some kind of kung fu expert? I am Matasaki, a kung fu master. No way! You know Kung Fu? Whoa, you have to train me! Hmm. Please! Uh, I will train you if you can snatch this pebble from my open palm. But I must oh. warn you. Uh, I, I, I wasn't ready. <clears throat> Best two out of three. Hey, no fair! A deal's a deal! Hmm. Very well. Let us. Begin. Awesome. Up top, Manasaki. Lesson number one, young apprentice. A kung fu master does not high five. Fist bump? No? Really? Not even a fist bump? I hate this. This is like work. Yeah. And I don't trust that big guy. He doesn't say a word. Yeah. It's always the big metal quiet ones who are the real oh. trouble. Isn't that right, Sid? Oh. oh, he's quiet, all right. Maybe too quiet. Not like earlier when he was talking about destroying all cockroaches. He's not talking at all now. But he's thinking about it. Uh, you drag. I'm watching the big guy think. Yeah, the thinking stuff's dangerous. That should stop them for a bit. You are student of Kung Fu, not beauty pageant contestant. To find the key to inner strength, you must clear your mind. So start cleaning.
Oh no! They're almost at Adila's boom! Okay, training's over, Manasaki. We gotta go! But, but it's only been 15 minutes. When the mind wanders, the body follows. Yep, and my body's going that way. Come on, it's just you and me, master and pupil. Time to kung fu some roach butt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm out! Nobody said anything about me fighting. Well, come on, aren't you some kind of kung fu master? Who likes to meditate in unquestionably safe locations? Hold on, are you a coward? You bet. It's dangerous out there, especially for praying mantis. This is my mom and dad on their wedding day. And they were in love. Fine, stay here and be a kung fu coward. But I've got friends to save. <sighs> I've got a hot shell. You've got a hot shell. Feel like brothers, huh? Ever think of a career as a cockroach henchman? Hmm? Yeah, I thought you'd agree. <laughs> he never joined you guys. He is a hero. Will you calm down? The idiot's trying to recruit our toy. That spot is more than you can uh, <sighs> Step away from the bus. <gasps> They'd call that kung foolish. Okay, short stuff. Prepare yourself for a tasty knuckle sandwich. Yeah, in the side order of pain. Oh, <laughs> 
Benasaki? Where'd he go? Huh? I just wanted to say thanks. That training really paid off. Brave Buck gave up What a hero! Hero? But what about me? I did all the kung fu. Yeah, real impressive. Unlike your mysterious green friend. Eh, he has his ways. Odd and unusual, but he has his ways. Hmm. The boy has great potential. One day, he could be my equal. Could return our poor little humans to their original size. Sounds like a fairly tall tale to me. <laughs> huh? I hate my life. Hate? That's a pretty strong word. Uh. <laughs> 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 Okay, maybe it applies. Gird your loins, Zack! Huh? For you're about to have a spurt! The spurt of a lifetime! You invented a new zit popper. <laughs> no, growth spurt, you beautiful, disgusting boy! We're going home! I've invented a growth formula, you say. Very interesting. Are you sure? I saw it with my own eyes. Well? What are you waiting for? Go get it! Yes, sir. Uh, I, I mean, Mother... I mean, bye! Abstract gold! Actually, platinum. No, palladium. It uh, doesn't matter. They'll be naming them all Grandpodium after they see this. Uh, the walking periodic table strikes again. I just use reverse RNA unzipping with a combination of nucleotide polymerase and prunes. A child could do it. I guess if they went to prune school... Drink, my little sapling. Grow into a mighty oak. Wait, I mean, what's the rush? Do you have to go right now? Yes, I don't know how long the formula will remain potent. Science waits for no man. So, this is really it. I always hope I'd get big again. But I didn't think about having to say goodbye. Don't you dare forget about us! Sid? Are, are you crying? Me? No. This is the pollen. Hey, where's Chowser? Don't <laughs> oh, cry, buddy. We knew I'd be leaving one of these days. What? You're leaving? I was crying about losing my favorite back scratcher. Now you're leaving? <sighs> <laughs> oh. All right, folks, showtime. Back up, everyone, back up! Whew, here we go. Uh, how long's it take? Hmm. Well, that was a total waste of an embarrassing cry. Look, let's get some rest. We'll get this sorted out. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> 
you were looking forward to getting big again, but I'll admit, I'm kind of relieved. <laughs> Why am I in Gramps' bed? Oh, what's that old person smell? Oh, my back is aching. Gramps has to get a softer insole for that thing. Ah. Hey, what's on my lip? A big rat! Ah. Wait, no, no, it's... Mustache? What? A perfect body swap! But, but incredible! Not the word that came to mind. It seems whoever drinks the formula leaves his genetic code in the liquid. To the formula! On the double! Uh. It was here last night. Now it's gone. Gone? Where? Mother, this is not the type of identity issue I needed this week. Hey, boss, does this mean I'm the new boss? No! Never mind. But, but how do we switch back without more formula? Everybody calm down. If I know those wretched insectables, they'll already be scrambling to make a new batch. And we'll be right there to help steal it from them. We need more prunes! Prune powder coming up. Mmm, kind of desserty. Mm. Mm. Something's missing. <clears throat> Salt, of course! You know, I would have pointed that out earlier. If you had hands, I know, Sam. Here we go. Ugh. Thanks, Gramps. You're welcome. Oh, I have to answer nature's call again. Some rushed bucket of a body can't go five seconds without. Sorry, I didn't know this was occupied. Ah! Cross your fingers. Voila! <laughs> My body does not laugh. Uh, uh, I'm here to negotiate with Adila. Uh, yeah, that's me, Adila. Uh, scary, uh, 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 okay. What do you want? Uh, I, I want uh, something evil, yeah, yeah. Uh, for my schemes, yeah, my evil schemes, <laughs> or cheese. Oh, for the love of... I'm Adila. We drank your stupid potion, okay? Now give me the last match so I can get my body back. Hand over my grandson and I'll hand over the potion. Deal. I'm sick of his old man smell anyway. Ugh, like a chew toy. Gramps, don't trust her. What choice do I have? But keep an eye out for Lydia. She's usually with her mother. <laughs> Lo! Now! <laughs> what the? We had a deal! Oh, I'm sorry. Did you actually think I was serious? <laughs> hey! I thought you never laughed. Oh, 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 no. <gasps> I have hands. I have hands! Now I'm a roach? I should have stayed in bed this morning. I'm Zack! This is awesome! I hate you all. <sighs> I got it! Oh, I got it! It's mine! Give it to me! Hey! I got it! Yeah, I got it! It's mine! All right, that's enough! Okay, 
Who here wants their own body? Raise your hands. Okay, let's go. Everyone line up. Did it work? I don't know. Can you all stop talking at once? Uh, all right, I'll start. <gasps> hey! I'm me! Sid? Chowser? Yep! <laughs> Zach? The one and only, yeah! Ooh, it's good to have my old back back. Low? How do you feel? I'm not low, I'm high. Ah! Hey, we didn't switch back. Uh, who cares? <laughs> yeah, this body's smoking. Atlas Crunch. Will you clog, stop flexing, and grab those insectables? Uh, what insectables? Oh, just you wait, insectables! Just you wait! Well, I learned something anyway. Even though I might be really small, at least I'm still myself. Oh, why'd you do that? Just making sure you are who you say you are. I'm just glad everything's back to normal. Ah. Here we go again. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> I may be old, but I still got it! You're technically still being punished. Come on, Mom. I told you. I was just trying to help you pay for soccer camp. <laughs> if anything, you should be thanking me. You're selling your special water balloon? The secret ingredient was ketchup. Hey, and you gotta admit, I made quite a scene for the shortest guy in class. Oh, honey. You'll have a girl spurting day now. You'll see. What in the world? Oh, Mom! You just wiped a really cool bug! <laughs> cool bug. You sound like your grandfather. You two are gonna get along just fine. Gramps probably doesn't even remember me. I haven't seen him since... <sighs> your dad. Zach, I... This isn't easy for me either. But we're a team, so I'm counting on you to be good for Grandpa, okay? Anybody home? Oh, look at that. Nobody's home. Well, we tried. I'll walk you in. No way, Mom. You got a flight to catch. Come on, get going. I got this. Uh, I don't know. I'm fine. And I've got my phone just in case. Well, if you're sure. Okay, be safe. Call me every <gasps> night. I don't call, I text. I love you. Yeah, love you too, Mom. Mm. Yo, Gramps, it's me. Remember Zach, your grandson, who you promised to let do whatever he wanted? You probably don't remember that part, but you totally did. Huh? What's with padlock? Keeping people out or Gramps in? <laughs> Maybe the back door's open. Yo, Gramps, hello? Gramps, it's me, and I'm dying out here. Gramps? Uh, well, if he's not in the old folks' home, he must be in the old folks' shed. Hey, go away! Get out of here! I'm gonna slap you so hard! Huh? Okay, that was weird. Gramps! I'm here! Huh? I'm gonna go right ahead and pretend I never saw that. I saw what? <laughs> That's right, nothing at all. Gramps, it's me, and I didn't just see something really strange. Cool. Whoa, analog. Some old record player thing, like MP3s for cavemen. <laughs> I wonder if it still works.
It's always good to start these things off with a bang. <laughs> it looks like little Zack's vacation has been cut short. <laughs> I amuse myself, Dr. Von Trapp, your humble host. So settle back with a warm bowl of French fried flies and enjoy the coming carnage. <laughs> no, look out! I didn't mean it! Hey, Zach! Wakey, wakey! Uh, Gramps? Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, Mom says hi. Oh, oh, oh Zach! Nobody's ever done this before. What are you talking about? Oh, I've got a migraine wrapped in a headache inside of a... Whoa! Oh, what the... Why is my arm in this metal glove? Actually, that metal glove is your arm. <laughs> my arm? Well, what happened to my arm? Huh? Ow! Oh, just needs a minor adjustment. I should have let you sleep longer so I could have kept working. A minor adjustment? I got a metal arm! Check it out. The kid's complaining about having an arm. Talk about human world problems. Ah! Hey, welcome back! I would have introduced myself earlier, but I was smashed in the head with that big rubber thing. Oh! Wow! Good job on the arm, Grant. Whoa! Ah! Oh, monsters! Where? Where are they? Zack! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Easy for you to say. Uh, I slimed myself. Yeah, that was actually pretty gross. But since you saved me, I'm going to assume you're a good guy. Put her there. Right, sorry. They're all good guys. These are my best subjects ever. Well, I'm a little on the husky side, so <laughs> grab spill. <laughs> One of these days, you'll figure out he doesn't have to make the helicopter sounds himself. Turbocharged wheels, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm the fastest thing on no feet. I got my stinger bent for Grandpa's big. I love it. Whoa, pretty thick, Grandpa. You know, for a thousand-year-old, I'm impressed. Funny thing, that machine never worked until you touched it. Well, but we'll be fine as soon as I fix the Shrinkinator. You can fix it? I believe I can. But the Shrinkinator is kind of blown up into like a million billion pieces thanks to you. Uh, not that it's your fault or anything. And by that she means it's totally your fault. I don't care what it takes. I'm getting those Shrinkinator parts and I'm going to be normal again. <laughs> The horrible. <laughs> so, the old man has been cut down to size, eh? And his little machine is all over the place. Well, he's on my turf now. <laughs> My sources tell me we have some unwelcome visitors to my little land of enchantment. Lydia, darling, Mother has the perfect opportunity for you to hone your leadership skills. <coughs> me? Why? Sweetie, you mustn't question Mother's parenting skills. If it helps, take him with you. <laughs> This is going to be so much fun. Uh, little to the left. Yeah. My, right. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're all clear. <sighs> oh, boy. You know, I could use a hand here. Hey, me too. Because I don't have hands. Hey, keep it down, Sid. You're in enemy territory. Well, in that case, push faster! Okay, but I need a drink first, or I'm never gonna make it home, and nobody gets lunch. <laughs> ah! Oh, dude, juice in my rim! Do you know how long it's gonna take somebody else to clean that? Yak! Yak is bad. Yeah, yak is bad, Zach. Worse than juicy rims. Much worse! Uh, it sounds like you're... Going to explode! Well, what a coincidence! Because I feel like I'm gonna explode! Well, can you transform? <laughs> no, I think I pulled one of my five valves! I think we better get you back to Gramps and fast! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Something tells me they're not here to help. <laughs> oh my. That orange has put our boys in a real pickle. <laughs> I do love a juicy story. <laughs> Easy there, Stretchy. <laughs> you go into the box. Hey, no! I'm being snailed! Hey, I'm coming! Handsome. Ooh, 
look, pheromones. There's something you need to know about Sid. He's going to explode. I love the way you say, explode. Let me put it to you another way. You just sent your mom. A bomb? A b -b bomb Oh, I hate this! Polishing leadership skills really sucks! Oh, oh, oh could have thought this. Ah! Oh, great. Ah! Not what I planned. Oh. What, what the? Oh, I... This, this is, is your, your fault. fault. You're a rotten hostage. Oh yeah? Well, you're a lousy villain. We need to get cramps. Worst day ever. I got one. I certainly hope so. I wasn't sending you out for pizza. I'm telling you, I'm gonna explode! <laughs> That's what they all say. Ah, come on. Who says that? I do. I, I explode all the time. I once broke a toilet. Oh, it was ugly. <laughs> Where has Lydia gone to? I'm stuck to a human pheromone factory. I sent mother an exploding snail. And I have to walk. What else can go wrong? Oh, wow. Where do you think you're going? This is a major picnic tear down here. And where's your hard hat? I'm a mosquito, you're an ant. I outrank you, and I'm in a hurry. A hurry, huh? Now let's see. Well... At Labor Union Law states that an ant trail can only be broken or intercepted in cases of extreme emergencies. What do you call this? I sent my mom a slime bomb, and I've got a shrunken human on my back! Hmm, human, 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 aha! Here, section 221 of the Ant Labor Union Law states that an ant trail can only be broken, intercepted, or rerouted in the event that a human steps across the line. So that means... But it doesn't say anything about shrunken humans. Ugh! Do you know who I am? I am the daughter of Adila, ruler of the insect realm. Adila! 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 Nope, doesn't say anything about Adila either. Oh, come on! Closer, I'd be behind you. Boss, I think he's going to explode. For real. Lydia's been so rebellious lately. What is she up to? Why does she make me wait and worry like this? What have I done to deserve any? Sounds like they've got mother daughter issues, huh? Yep. I'm a bad mother! So, you're a 
little crazy for the Zaxter, huh? I can't say you're the first. You can't say it, because it's not true! Ah! Maybe I can shake it out of you, huh? Maybe not. I think my stomach just wrapped around my crankshaft. Come on, Lydia. Mother promises to never, ever boss you around again. Lydia, take out the trash. Lydia, tie up the hostages. Lydia, Lydia, Lydia! Mother! Lydia! The snail, let's go to explore. Where have you been? What have you been doing? And flash is not on your back. Oh, Mom, must you always criticize my wearing? You mean this snail really is going to explode? Oh, thank you. I'm gonna blow! Give me that crack daughter! Fire in the snail! Oh, this is it! Oh, this is it! Well, it's usually the silent ones you have to worry about. Sid! Oh no, don't stop me hasty now! No! Ah! <laughs> Sayonara, suckers! Get back here! <laughs> <laughs> Dissolved the sap! I'm free! Me landing on the orange, that was part of your plan, right? When you kicked me off the ledge! Um, yeah, right. <laughs> it worked like a charm. Yeah, <laughs> it was totally charming. Well, that's creepy. You do know you're drooling, right? <laughs> what the? I do not drool. And for the record, you're a total waste of time with your amazing stunts and delicious pheromones. And I am so over you. I will never understand girls. No, you won't. Can we go now? You know, Sid, I'm still thirsty. I think I'm gonna pass on the juice. Oranges give me gas. Wow, a dirty pebble. An old gum wrapper. Uh, you were right, Zach. This part of the yard is a real treasure trove. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll find some belly button lint. Just keep looking, Sid. There might be a shrinkinator part around here somewhere. <laughs> hey, hot shots! Guess who just found a part? Ah! Ah, this thing's heavier than than Chowser. Here. Let me show you how it's done. What? What? Let me show you how it's done. What's that supposed to mean? Whoa, easy. I just meant you look like you could use some help because I'm stronger. Ah! I mean, just because you're a... Don't say it. Girl. Ah! He said it. Five, four, three, two... I'm gonna play your block, Time record. <laughs> Step off, weaklings, and let me handle this before you chip a nail. Sorry. Jeez. We'll be over there if you need anything. Who needs those meatheads? You can do this, Willow. <laughs> I got this. Hmm. Hey, what's that smell? <gasps> that insanely amazing smell! Huh? Mm. What is this place? Uh, hi! Whatever you are! Smell! <laughs> Whoa! Uh... 
a child with a tumbler of pink lemonade? Or a death trap supreme for poor Willow? <laughs> what a deliciously terrifying serving of wasp under glass. It's not clear that she'll ever escape. <laughs> Get on the car, Ralphie! Willow, stay calm. Ooh, everything's gonna be just fine. <laughs> Do not panic. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh, what is that? Like, I'm really gonna lick some strange goo without knowing what it is first. Nice try, kid! Unless he didn't want me to try it, in which case I totally should, just to show him what's what. Just a teeny, tiny, totally timid taste. Okay, I tasted it, and now I know what it is. <laughs> it's just totally the best and greatest stuff ever in the whole world! Where have you been all my life? Oh. See anything shiny? Anything metal? Nope. Zilch! <laughs> One of the many benefits of not having a spine. <gasps> Chowser? What's wrong? Mm, three words. Sounds like swimming, dancing, uh, synchronized swimming. You, you, you want to go synchronized swimming? You're a stork! A stork with a, a big butt! Licking! Ah, uh, dirt licking! Ah, uh, you're, you're a dirt eater! Ah, uh, you, 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 you're a dirt eating stork with a big bite! <sighs> Willow was trapped suddenly by a large, clear vessel with a mysterious liquid which messed up her judgment, and now she's unable to help herself and only has minutes to live? Yeah! Ah, uh. uh, the kid is good. Come on! We gotta save her! Uh, 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 oh. We've got to get up there fast. Observe the Sultan of Sticky. <laughs> Invertebrate, more like invertebrate. Hail the snails. Huh? <laughs> I have something really, really super important to ask you. Why does the word glass sound so weird when you say it over and over? Glass, 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 glass. <laughs> Fascinating, Wills. Hold that thought. Chowser, check up top for any cracks. Sid, you and I will see if there's any way in down here. Willow, keep the doing your thing. <laughs> Nope, 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 no way out for old Willow. Hey, Zach, hey, Zachy, Zach. <laughs> You're an awesome, awesome friend with really great hair. <laughs> so cute. Guys, let's put a rush on that. Nothing up here, it's rock salt. But that pink stuff looks yummy. Pink is my favorite flavor. <gasps> Mine too. And you know what else is my favorite? Doing this. <laughs> You need to concentrate. This is serious. <laughs> you think? I'm trapped in a delicious prison, and I'll probably die in here, and then nothing will be left of me but my embarrassing diary and my bleached bones. And I don't even have bones. <laughs> Can someone get me some bones? Oh, and some curly fries. Willow, focus. Let's all try to live together. Aye, aye, Skipper. All right, men. On the count of three. Three. It worked. I'm free. Really? Hey, who wants to play truth or dare? Dare! I dare you to kiss your own butt. Do it, Zach! I command thee! Willow, you have got to get out of there! Try using your drill! <laughs> One drill, coming up! Ooh, or should I say down? <laughs> I'm so clever. <laughs> Willow, you're 
you're running out of air. Try not to breathe so hard. Okay, uh, plan C. Chowser, try dropping something from high up. Got it. Like it's doing that. Wait, that's it, Sid. Oh, great, another Zach plan. Chowser, cannonball! On it! Sure. Ah. Uh. Woo! Woo awesome! Come on, Willow. We're gonna get you home and get you something to drink. Although probably not lemonade. Oh, come to Chow Chow. Ooh, yum. Huh? Uh, what's taking Chowser so long? Out of my way! Ah! Ah! Now might be a good time to run! Look out below! Oh, My pal, Chowser. I'm gonna smush the living go out of you, you big tomato! It's not my fault! The pink stuff made me do it! Uh, this is what happens when you leave it to the boys. Ugh, what reeks like sweaty caterpillar? Oh, he's like a ceiling fan with a built-in sprinkler. Uh, oh, hey, there's a dent in the wood. Hey, Sid, how far can you stretch your neck? Why do you ask? Just a little more. I'd like to see you try this. Come on, Sid! You can do it! Everyone! We need more muscle! For the next best thing. Okay. Sorry, I think you've reached the limit of your potential as a ceiling fan. to snap back. Willow, I was wrong about what I said. You're the toughest wasp I know. And you're the cleverest human I know, besides Gramps. But still, thanks for saving my life. Don't mention it. Just remember, though, I'm the leader. After today, I'd consider it. What do you mean, consider? <laughs> like it's up to you? Like it's up to you? Whoa! Who's up for some celebrating? Whoa! Okay, but just water for me, all right? I'm flying. Ugh, what is taking him so long? Gramps is probably boring Willow to death with stories about the fascinating powers of ants. Commonly known as nature's strong man. And let's not forget about their unparalleled architectural genius. Gramps, there it is! Yes, it's one of the Shrinkinator's missing ears. We've hit pay dirt. You sure that's a good idea? I know exactly what I'm doing. Told you! Uh-oh. Run! All right, Gramps! Hold on! Don't drop that thing! Woo-woo! Oh, oh, oh. Can I get a holla? Hold your Willow the Brave! She's the boldest! She's the number one all-time awesomeness! And number one all-time modestest. Oh, I'm sorry, but who bravely rescued the missing gear 
and Gramps at the same time. Was it Zack? Don't think so. Who bravely busted us both out of that crumbling cave? Begin to the Z? Nope. Just call me Willow! <laughs> Squirming in the clutches of a hungry magpie, our Willow the Brave looks more like Willow the Worm. Her predicament is most <laughs> delicious. Ah, where am I? Wow, all this shiny stuff. If I didn't know any better, I'd think I was in Grandpa's pocket. <laughs> better see how high up I am. Stop. If anyone can hold their own in a fight, it's Willow. Any minute now, that magpie is going to fly away, calling for mercy. See, what did I tell you? Okay, we need to get up there before it comes back. When you say we, you mean me, don't you? Oh, and my personal goal for today was to not get eaten. And my personal goal for today was to babysit an old man. Mission accomplished. Man, she better be up here, or I'm gonna be peeped. Willow, you're all right! Impressed by my manly heroism? <laughs> Look, thanks for visiting, but go on without me. I'm enjoying the view. I, I can see your house from here. Really? Because I can see your trembling hands from here. <laughs> I can smell your sticky armpits from here. Oh, oh yeah? Well, well oh, I can... Guys, can we do this later? Uh, you go on ahead. I'll just start a new life up here. Maybe open a deli. Whatever that is. Wait a minute. What's going on? Are you afraid of heights? Willow the Brave? <laughs> and you were just bragging I'm about... not afraid of heights. I'm afraid of really, really high heights. And I can't fly. <laughs> oh, man, this is funnier than the time you tried to ask a stick for directions. It was a stick bug. He just wasn't very talkative. Yeah, because he had all of those leaves growing out of his mouth. <laughs> Willow the Brave can't fly. Willow the Brave can kick your butt if you don't clamp it. Hey, guys, look what I found. <laughs> Uh, keep pacing like that. You'll end up in China, and I won't come get you. That magpie will be back soon. What's taking them so long? Ugh, looks like this baby's stuck. Come on, Will. There's nothing to be afraid of. There isn't? Did you know there's less oxygen at higher altitudes? <gasps> But I need that to breathe. Exactly. And it's like a million foot drop. And once you fall, that's it. You just go faster and faster and faster until... <laughs> you hit like a watermelon. A watermelon? Yeah. That's the messiest melon. I know. <laughs> I need to break up the freak out fest, you guys. But can you give me a hand with this thing, guys? <laughs> oh, not you two. Got a plan, Stan? Yes, gonna do some reconnaissance. Sid, whip me up some slime. Huh? Slime, I need slime. And hurry, there's not a moment to lose. Uh, uh, okay, uh, but, but, but you need to turn around, you know? I, 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 I can't go when someone's watching. Turn around. <laughs> Excellent. <sighs> I told my mom I'd make her proud someday. This slime should have enough surface tension to form a serviceably convex lens. And voila! A slimoscope! Shakespeare's got nothing on you. Uh-oh, the magpie's returning. <sighs> uh, 
this gear's not going anywhere. Uh, I'm okay. Sheesh, look at all this junk. Hey, guys, get over here. I think I found a way down. Uh, we're not flying down, are we? I'm not gonna fly down. Are you gonna fly down? Relax, guys. No one needs to fly down. We're gonna climb down. Now, come on, before you know who comes back. So, uh, what was it we were looking for again? Please say snacks. Anything shiny. There's something to lure that bird away. Keep your eyes peeled. Now you want to peel my eyes? Uh. No, but I meant one. Ah, Sid, you're brilliant. It doesn't reach. It will once we're all on. I had a big lunch today. Bowser, you go first. You're the heaviest. I can't. I'm nervous. Ah! One second thought. Out of my way! Ah! Ah! Bowser, just don't look down. <laughs> Too late. Just did. It got gonna... <laughs> well, Sid, how do I look? You couldn't possibly look any more ridiculous. <laughs> ah. I stand corrected. It's working! Looks like I owe you five bucks. Whatever they are. Oh, on the count of three. Gonna help me rescue Grandpa. Did someone mention my name? Grandpa! But how? Darn bird had my missing measuring tape. Surprised you didn't think of that, Zach. Try to use the old noggin next time, kid. Whew, but I'm just glad you're okay. Okay? I've never felt better. Yeah, but you sure smell better. So, Willow the Brave. Any other phobias you want to discuss? Don't know what you're talking about. Hey, careful! Don't fly too high! Whatever! Well, at least we got another piece of the Shrinkinator. We're one step closer to getting home, kiddo. Yeah, about that, Grammy. Remember that fishing trip you promised me? Well... Oh. What kind of wasp has a drill? Next time we run into the insectables, we should get hazard pay. What? You get paid? 
After a day like today, we deserve a rotting meal and some entertainment. Yeah, give us a show. We want the show. We want the show. We want the show. Uh oh, restless roaches. If this gets any worse, they could mute me. You get out there and tell them some jokes. That'd be hilarious. That's an order. We want the show. Um, so, uh, hey, you all ready to laugh? <laughs> um, mm, uh, what do you call a fly with no wings? A rock! <laughs> Get it? Ooh, you stink! Get off the stage! <laughs> ooh, ooh, you stink! We want the show! 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 That spring, that might be the Shrinkinator's motivator coil. We want the show. We want the show. But how can we, we ever get to show. it? It looks like Sax found exactly what he needs. And the only teensy weensy thing in their way is an entire force of angry roaches. <laughs> oh, well, you know what they say. The show must go on. We need that coil. But it's in the middle of the Roaches' base camp. I yeah, figures they'd have it well guarded. Well, I'm not sure they even know what it is. They're using it as a stool. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Like I was saying, the coil's in the middle of the Roaches' base camp. Oh, no. That's where the Roaches do all their scheming. Am I right, Zach? Are they scheming? Oh, I hate scheming. Well, no. From what I could see, they're just really bored. You mean Adila doesn't give her goons entertainment? Imagine that. Evil and boring. Entertainment. That's it. The goons are bored. This camp's got a stage. Oh, this is almost too easy. But guys, I played a tree in my school play in second grade. Tree number four. I bet you won an Oscar. Well, yeah, I was pretty good. That's not the point. The point is everyone was so into the show, nobody noticed when I snuck into the audience and tied Eric Leffler's shoelaces together. But roaches don't wear shoes. No, 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 you don't get it. We show up as an acting troupe and put on a show. They'll be so distracted, we can grab the coil right from under them. That's just crazy enough to work. I agree with the first part of that statement. All right, Insectables, let's put on a show. OK, everybody know their lines? Yes. Yes. No, I mean yes. Chowser, did you forget your lines? Uh, I just forgot one thing. Okay, that's not so bad. What did you forget? Um, everything. Everything I'm supposed to do. I can't do this! Yes, yes, you can. It's all in your head. You're not just an actor. You're a star. <laughs> I, I'm a star? A shooting star. Is that your professional opinion? Tree number four? <laughs> I'm a star. A shooting star! <laughs> Hate to break up this astronomy lesson, but we're here. Oh. Uh, greetings! I and my fellow actors were just passing through and... Actors, but you're hired! Follow me! See? They're putty in our hands. We want the show! We want the show! We want the show! We want the show! I changed my mind! I don't want to be a falling star! It's okay. There's no reason for them to hate us. They don't even know who we are. I hate everybody for no reason, even if I don't know who they are. This better be good. Uh, your attention, please. Now, with the greatest, most entertaining show you've ever seen in your entire uh, lives, yeah. we present to you... Uh, what do you call yourselves? Don't look at me. Don't look at me! <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Okay, Sid, go get that coil. The rest of you, let's break a leg. Uh, hi there. Tonight, <clears throat> we'd like to perform an original play based on the classic work of Shakespeare. Boo! 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 Roaches versus humans! Yeah, 
that's good. Roaches versus humans. humans. Roaches we versus didn't humans. reverse that. Roaches Roaches explain to humans. the crowd. Come on, we need to buy sit time. So, uh, I'm a roach. Yeah, just doing roach stuff, like uh, eating garbage. Uh, and, uh, uh, uh. Master Actor, what are you doing? I'm just doing some uh, improv. Watch and learn. Surrender! I'm back from the Insectables, and we don't like your kind. Yeah! Get lost, roaches. Us humans are in charge around here. <laughs> This wasn't part of the plan. Neither was you totally bombing. <gasps> Zack from the Insectables? I'd heard you were good looking, but you're even more hunky in person. Am I right? Ugh. Oh no! Your advanced roach intelligence has discovered one of my many human weaknesses. Vanity! <laughs> yeah, what an egomaniac. Inflate my ego enough, and my puny human brain won't even notice that you're taking a swing at me! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, take a swing at me! Oh, my weak, squishy human face is no match against your superior roach <sighs> muscles! Whoa! And I also fell down due to that awesome swing! Roaches rule! <laughs> Boy, that'll teach me to strut around the insect world and act like I own the place! I'm a squishy human who thinks I'm better than insects with my skeleton on the inside! <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Willow, you're a terrible actress. Second, sits at the coil with the commander sitting on it. I got this. We now fast forward to later that day, where Willow the Wasp's junior sidekick, Zack, is planning his next move. But we need a volunteer to help the Roach army defeat this threat. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, what about me? me? Look at me. Not that guy. Me. Commander, would you like to come up and help us defeat the Insectables? <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, thanks. I'm not an actor. Yeah, you can do it. Uh, come come on. on. You do it. Commander. 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 Anything for my troops. Commander. 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 Great! And to welcome you on stage, we have a special guest, a duo! What's going on here? Why am I so ugly? Why can I only fly in circles? What's going on here? Ah, uh, Adila, <coughs> we weren't expecting you. Uh, uh, the commander was, you know, just treating everyone to a little show. <laughs> Please uh, take a seat. Yeah, for the love of salt. Just call me Adilla the Jizzy. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey, say, maybe if you stop flapping that gimpy wing of yours and listen to someone who actually knows what he's talking about. What? I hate the theater. <laughs> No, you idiots! The real insectables! Get them! Good job! Now we're gonna die because of your terrible acting! <sighs> My terrible acting? I've seen more rage uh, on a... Guys, that might not be the best time! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was them. I was lulling them into a false sense of security. Guys, coil at 12 o'clock. I'm 
making me look like a fool in front of Adilla. We're the boss. <laughs> You're welcome! I'll get you next time, Insectables! Looks like my expert plan to start a brawl worked out perfectly. Ha! Whatever. Oh, you didn't think me bombing down there was, was real, did you? <laughs> That's called acting. I was acting. Yeah, there's a tree over there that could learn a lot from you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is lame. Can't we just go out and find real Shrinkinator parts already? This isn't trick-or-treat. If you don't know what you're doing in this yard, you're Roach Brunch. Do you even know what a roach is? Sure. There's a whole bunch of them living in my art teacher's closet. That was then. Welcome to Tiny Town, where one roach can crush your little endoskeleton with his bare hands. And if you think they're mean, wait till you meet a villain. Uh, what's an Adilla? You'll find out soon enough. Concentrate, Zack. Focus. Grappling hook. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not the bolo, the hook! You gotta be kidding me. Oh, and the veil just keeps on coming. I got this. I think I can taste my spleen. Bet it tastes a lot like failure. Oh. Hmm, screams. My second favorite sound. My first being splat. Will I get a splat? Could I be that lucky? <laughs> no, Mother, I totally wasn't partying with the ladybugs. Honest. I was, um, uh, serving pizza crust crumbs at the old roach home. Ugh, I am so toast. I'm telling you, it fell from the sky. What do you think it is? It's unnatural is what it is. Unnatural? What do you mean? I mean, you can't eat it. Well, well, well. <laughs> There's my bargaining chip to keep Mother off my thorax. Stay, stay still, Zack. Ah. So, after this, we go find those Shrinkinator parts, real Shrinkinator parts. You can make us big again, right? Keep it down. If Adilla ever realizes what the Shrinkinator can do, who knows what horrors she might unleash? Who is this Adilla everyone keeps talking about? She's bad news. She's a mosquito that got swatted long ago. Gramps tried to save her, but uh, she wasn't exactly appreciative. Mirror! Gavne, a mirror! <gasps> ah, I'm hideous! <gasps> Since then, she's terrorized the whole yard. She doesn't care who she crushes, and those are the bugs she likes. Jeez. Okay, I get it. Roach is bad, Adilla worse. Hey! Guys! Move! And news, the red ants! They're talking about some big metal thing they found. Maybe it's a shrink a dink part. Dude, share the wealth. Sure thing, Zach. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hey, what is this? Mm -hmm. It fell out of a bird. <laughs> I just want to be big again. Find the parts, and I can do the rest. Oh, and take Zack. Let's see if my calibrating's paid off. Yes, the Zackinator rules. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Of course they need those parts so they can fix that machine. <laughs> so Grampy and Baby Boy want to be big again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, who doesn't? This is a dream come true. Mother, what are you cooking up now? Listen, darling. Humans have always hated us, trapped us, swatted us. Tinkered with us like we're their little toys. Yeah. Can I go swimming in the stagnant puddle with Jamie? Let's see how Gramps and the other human handle a mosquito their side. I'll get those parts before those tin plated weirdos. You know how I hate them. Send high and low to fetch that shrinkinator part and the spawn of grabs. Breathing and in one piece. Breathing? That's not like you. With little Grand Sonny in my grip, the old fool will do whatever I say. And I say, all hail Adila, ruler of the human realm. <laughs> Leave this to me. It calls for a dash of the old Zack charm. Good idea, because the new Zack charm stinks. <coughs> me? Me, human. Huh? Uh, me, need, thing, hard thing, big thing. Who's Pinky here, and why is he talking to me like I'm a moron? Sorry about that, Bert. Tiny little humans. <laughs> what you gonna do, all right? Hey, you got a weird metal thing around here? Sure, Sid. We throw it around the back. Wait, wait. You don't even want it? Rule number one, Pinky. We don't keep what we can't eat. Oh, awesome. I'm there. Rule number two, Pinky. Everything has a price. Ant rules, Pinky. Learn them, live them. But I've got nothing to trade. You don't, but he does. Our first Shrinkinator part, and bird poop cheap. That was my lunch. What if they all fly south again like last year? Bird's happy, we're happy, sparrows don't migrate, the circle of life. All I know is I'm one Shrinkinator part closer to getting out of here. <laughs> so, Willow, what was all the hype about the big bad roaches? Ah! Stop! Behind you! Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look low, it's the wasp, the snail, and the caterpillar. Ah! Ah! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, where are we going? <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> uh, weren't we supposed to get two things? Uh, maybe, but uh, you know, one out of two is pretty impressive, yeah? Yeah, that's like 70% successness. <laughs> that's almost perfect. It's almost perfect to be almost perfect. <laughs> perfect! <laughs> Oopsie, almost forgot you. We can just go back. Save your breath. Zack, don't mess with roaches. But guys, they took the part. They took our part. We can't let them do that to us. Sure we can. They do it all the time. I'm with Chowser and Willow in this. Lose a part, keep my shell. Home, guys. You know what? You're right. Maybe we do suck. But if you're also right about Adilla, she'll get those parts, control the Shrinkinator, and take over the world like King Kong. And that's a world that nobody, bug or human, will want to live in. We may be losers, bombs, busts, studs, We flops. get it. Good, because the cost of failure's way bigger than all of us. Aren't most things bigger than all of us? We can't afford to walk away. Together, we can do this. Who's with me? No, you brainless bags of brawn. I needed the part and that ugly little boy. Yeah, and work on deltoids. Oh, oh I like to say deltoids. <laughs> yeah, deltoids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> deltoids. Oh, deltoids. Oh, yeah, feel the burn. Uh -huh. I think you have something that belongs to us. <laughs> Well, come and get it. Come on, guys! Let's do this! Over here! Almost! I'm slow. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> 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 
Never beat me. You, you, and send them all! Hi, Mom. I'm having a pretty good time. Made some new friends, met some bullies too, but nothing I can't handle. Thumbs up, smiley face. Love you, Zach. It's a good thing we finished all our food gathering for the winter ahead of schedule. <laughs> I'm gonna make good use of the dessert pile. Join the dark side of the yard? Or is their good name being besmirched in some dastardly fraud? <laughs> Play from 
the dung beetle oh, village. Yeah. Bye, guys. And thanks again. You're our heroes. Heroes? Hey, I'm a hero! Hey, you know what? That ant's right. We are pretty great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to know we're making a difference. Even if it does mean having to run for our lives every now and then. Now can we run for some lunch? We haven't eaten since breakfast, and that was like two hours ago. You know what? Butterball's right. I'm feeling kind of peckish myself. I gotta admit, all this talk of food is making me hungry, too. All right. Let's make a stop at the termite village up ahead. If we're lucky, we might be able to get a spot at that famous termite buffet. Termite food. They only eat wood. I'm hungry, but I'm not that hungry. Oh, that's just an urban uh, yardly legend. They don't just eat wood. They eat all kinds of things, like mushrooms. Well, that's good, because I'll take a mushroom omelet over a wood one any day. <laughs> get to the bottom of this. Aha! You! Stop right there! <laughs> Jonathan, what's going on? Why is everyone avoiding us? You guys have been robbing this village blind. You stole all our food for the winter. What are you talking about? Huh? We didn't do this. But, but, but everyone saw you. Saw us? It's like there's evil doubles of us out there committing crimes in our name. Yeah, and they probably have weird hairstyles and signature voices and... Ah! Oh, jeez. Ah! There's got to be an explanation for this. Hmm. Please don't hurt us, Mr. Zack. We have no more food to give you. You've cleaned us out. <laughs> Than I can count with my human fingers. Uh, dude, do you honestly think you can resist us? Uh, well, well, no. I guess we can't. Here, here, take it. Thank you. Nice doing this. thing I've ever heard. Someone out there pretending to be us. Please. We're one of the kind. I mean, look at my wheel. You can't just get these off the rack, you know. Huh? Like, look. 
looking in a mirror. An ugly mirror. <laughs> You're just jealous of these curvies. <laughs> this guy doesn't look like me at all. You want wow. some of this berry? You want ever? Insectables can go by on it! Questions. I just follow orders. Until it says lay out a line of scrap metal, we lay out a line of scrap metal. Then we go home, get some grub, do some flexing. Oh, yeah. And then enjoy the rest of our evening. See? Knowing what was going on, we'll just get in the way of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess you're right. themselves in a screwy situation. But what of the insectables? Will they be able to better navigate the rules of attraction? <laughs> so, that's why I can't be seen by the driveway anymore. After that, I dated Chelsea, and oh boy, was her shell round. You could bounce acorns off it. That's what you find attractive. For me, it's all about a fluff thorax. A thorax is all well and good, but give me two long antenna any day. Hey, guys, I found a metal, uh, circle. Is this a shrinkinator part? No, I don't think so. But hold on to it anyway. Gramps can probably use it for something. Huh? Huh, a screw. I bet Gramps could use this too. Uh, does anyone else think it's strange that all this stuff seems to be, you know, laid out in a straight line? Nah, stop being so paranoid, Sid. And please, long antenna? <laughs> you know what the most attractive thing about a person is? 
looking like me. As if. What? What? Willow? Oh, very funny, Willow. Admit it, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Chowser, I thought you liked my jokes. Oh, come on, Sid. You're flying away, too? No, genius. I can't fly! Wait, he's right. Huh? What the? Whoa! Insectables. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, most of them. What do you mean, most of them? <laughs> well, you know, uh, the, the really stinky, puny looking one sort of, you know, it, he escaped. Oh, of course he did. He always escapes. Where are the others now? Well, they're still in the yard. <laughs> we knew you'd want to know right away when they were captured, so <laughs> here we are. <laughs> you mean you, you left them unguarded? What do I pay you for? <laughs> well, you know, you don't pay us. Uh, do, you, do you get paid? Shut up! You go out there and bring me those three insectables at once, and try not to lose any this time. Ooh, and where those three insectables go, Zack and Kramps are sure to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Great. They're coming back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's try this again. One last time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice try. Maybe next time. <laughs> I don't know what she was so mad about. I mean, they're still here. It's the perfect insectables trap. <laughs> yeah, but how does it work? Our job is to bring them back to the tower. Not figure out the mysteries of the universe. Uh, what are we, scientists? <laughs> yeah. Oh. 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 Next stop, Attila. <laughs> hey, maybe we should start charging for rides. You know, I could wear a hat or something. <laughs> All right, what's your plan when we get to my plan? I thought you had a plan. Oh. Well, uh, no. You seem like you had a plan when you... First, we need to slow them down. All right. Well, now would be a good time to come up with a plan. I'm on it. Interesting. The pull of the magnet is strong. Don't get too close. Welcome to the party, Gramps. I didn't think we'd catch this one. There's no way a dealer could stay mad at us now. Of all the days to forget about the metal plate in my head. Huh? Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, fudge. <laughs> well, that didn't go according to plan. How's this for a plan? Next time, make a plan! <laughs> we have to get off 
this thing. If Adila gets us, she'll beat us. She'll torture us. She might even make us do homework. What do you know about homework? Nothing. But the way you talk about it, I figure it must be worse than torture. Ooh, can't argue with that logic. Hmm. There's a chance I can tweak your arm to emit a depolarizing pulse. Hold still, kid. Behold! Strange. That should have worked. Uh, color me surprised. Uh, halt! But Chicago! <laughs> Insectables! Uh, can I see? Gramps, if you've got any other ideas, you know, working ones, now would be the time. There has to be a way to reverse the magnetic field. I wonder. Uh, I don't get paid enough for this. Come on, you get paid too? Okay, I know we're in mortal danger and all, but that was awesome! Science 101, Zack. If you whack a magnet hard enough, you can reverse its polarity. Well, at least there weren't any strange side effects. Whoa. You were saying? Can you please get your hand out of my face? Well, get your butt off of my hand! That's not my butt, that's Chow's butt! What about my butt? Whose foot is this? Uh, talk about too close for comfort. Get uh, them! Uh, uh, incoming! Sid, move it! Another Zack plan. <laughs> Coming through! Get out of my way! <laughs> What's all that commotion? Is that the insectables? <laughs> And the magnet! Those goons brought the magnet back here! Okay, everyone! Wait for impact! Huh? <laughs> what the? God! Don't just stand there! Come help me! Your Highness, oh, they're coming! Oh, hang on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, smother me in salt. A plan that actually worked. Uh, I need a massage. I need a chiropractor. What are you all complaining about? Today's adventure was a fascinating lesson in magnetic attraction. Attraction? That reminds me. Did I ever tell you about the Beetle Twins? Talk about seeing double. and those who explore it must keep this in mind. Never get in over your head. <laughs> So tell us 
again, Chowser. What exactly happened to you earlier? <sighs> the headless zombie rose from the grave and tried to eat my brains! Well, that would have been a pretty small snack. Zombie? What zombie? And what were you doing here anyway, Chowser? I thought you hated this place. I had to prove my bravery in order to be initiated into the top secret snail society. Top secret snail? What top secret snail society? Um, time has come, young apprentice. Prove that you can be a true snail warrior. Yes, Mr. Sensei. I'm ready to be a snail. To earn your shell, you must prove your fierce snail bravery by finding me a very special mushroom. Oh, does it have magical snail powers, Master Sensei? <laughs> magical powers? It's gonna be my lunch! Uh, 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 I mean, yes! It has magical snail powers. You must fetch me this mushroom in the haunted fungi forest! Whoa. Chowser, why do you listen to Sid? There's no such thing as a top secret snail whatever he said. Okay, fine. It was my fault that I sent the big lug in there to get my lunch. Come on, th there's no zombies walking around here. But I saw a zombie. It was right, right, right here. Oh, Chowser. Headless zombie. <laughs> More like brainless caterpillar. Sometimes when we get scared, our, our minds play tricks on us, and we can imagine we see something that isn't really there. You have to control so your zombie. own mind and tell yourself that there's no such thing as zombies. Come on, say it with me. There's no, no such, such thing, thing as zombies. zombies. There you go. There's no such thing as zombies. They just don't exist. Such thing as okay, that last one needs some work. That freaky thing. Who you calling freaky? Hi, is that you? Eh, I seem to remember him bigger. <laughs> well, if it isn't the puny human and the puny snail, you both look so puny with your puny bodies. Yeah, look who's talking. Come get your juicy, tasty caterpillar brains. She's lying. I don't have any brains. Just ask my mom. You just laid there. But that plan couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> Sounds like my body found somebody. Willow! And there he goes with the severed head. That's, that's just great. 
Check out my totally ripped abs. <laughs> <laughs> you think Dad's gonna hold me? <laughs> Just for the record, I, I didn't want to bring the seven hands. Ah, I'm good. <laughs> Sid, wait, Chowser. We need his help. <laughs> What can I say? It's all in the wrist. Hurry! Oh. Come on, Willow. Think skinny thoughts. <laughs> I'm totally entertaining myself. Think skinny thoughts. Really? You want to talk about my eating habits? Ah! So, uh, Lumps, you gonna tell us how your head got separated in the first place? Da, 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 da. Oh. Hey, looking good, huh? Oh, which way to the beach over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, I have to tie my shoelaces. Oh, down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Uh. I don't have to tell you nothing. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> you are going to tell him there's no top secret snail society, right? The truth is, Zach, that big lug is more of a snail warrior than I'll ever be. Okay, guys, just breathe through your mouth. One of us 
Everyone has to go in. One, meaning you. Oh, no, you don't. I call rock, paper, scissors. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Rock, paper, scissors. I stop. Ha, I'm out. Sid, there's no I stock in rock, paper, scissors. Is two. Is not. Is two. Is not. Is two. Is two. Is not. Fine. I'll do it. Uh, here's hoping my face doesn't melt. Ooh, what horror awaits. Could this be the end of Zack? The insectables? Dare I say it? The backyard! <laughs> oh, but pardon my drool. Oh, all right. This has to stop. Bam! You've got to take a bath! Hmm? Do I smell? No! 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 Ah! Ah! drops or red lips? Stocks. That trick only works so many times, Sid. You and I are gonna scrub the stink off ramps if it takes all month. Righty ho! I'll just get my clothes off here and ah! <laughs> just, just, just leave them on, Gramps. We'll uh, wash you and your clothes at the same time. Excellent idea, Zach. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> <laughs> Two birds? He put sparrows on the endangered species list an hour ago. Gramps, <laughs> look out! Huh? Oh, don't worry. That's just Moby. He's been here since I bought the place. Oh, my gosh! Did my Gramps... Just get swallowed by a fish! Yep. But on a positive note, my nose hairs stop burning. You don't have a nose. Amazing, ain't it? Wow! This young fella didn't recognize me since I shrunk. A move! You're not helping. So, who's going down to save Grant? And, and no eye socks. socks! Hmm, I have an idea. What about sending someone who can swim? Mr. I won my Red Cross swimming badge when I was eight! I'm down with any plan that doesn't involve me and a hungry fish stomach. Fine. It's my Gramps anyway. Thanks. Oh. This ought to buy me a little time on the water. Okay. Now the trick is getting it out. No. 
the trick is getting us out. Before they become fish poop. As my father used to say, one man's fish poop is another snail's pot. <gasps> you can breathe underwater. Underwater? Do you know what water does to my turbochargers? Hey, what about this? to do. All we need is a paper clip and something big, round, and delicious as bait. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can buy something. Something that isn't. Right, so we just build a compressor and hook it up to a motorized fan, and then we fill Moby with air, and where are we going to get a compressor and a fan? I have no idea. It's okay, Gramps. Besides, you know, Chowser, Willow, and Sid will be racing to the rescue in no time. Of course, you're absolutely right. Need a smaller bowl. All right. <laughs> For the cause. Wow. Just a little further. Cool your engine. I've got to be careful. Maybe things with fluttery wings. Okay! <laughs> 
missed me, huh? Uh, well, no. Hey, look at this. They got a shrinkinator part. <gasps> it's just a shame the crib still smells like two years of sadness. <laughs> I'm just glad you're all right. Hey, guys! I've got the thing! I've got it! Oh, we're here. Everything's okay. Uh, good thing, too. No self-respecting creature would eat that. Come on, guys. Let's go home. No self-respecting creature would eat that, huh? Oh, that's a dead stick. I'm a human. Human. The species with by far the most evolved brain on the planet. If you're so smart, why is your skeleton inside? So it doesn't distract from my gorgeous body outside. Unlike you, we insects have evolved instincts precisely in tune with our world. Instinct is overrated. Brains all the way. Instinct. Brains. Instinct. Brains. Brains. Whoa. Ah. Don't move. I'm not that. No need to panic. This is nothing some calculated thrashing can't fix. Zach, stop! There's only one way to escape a spider web. Instinct. You have to feel your way out of it. All points are connected. Stop, Zach! Listen to an insect on this. Or at least pretend to. Huh? What? Feeling evolved? Just get me out of here, Willow. Say the magic word. Well, actually, three magic words. You're a pain. Won't do it. Will do it. <laughs> Fine! I was wrong! Magic enough? Abracadabra! <laughs> Just plain, boring instinct is all. You'll get there. Give or take about 40 million years. This week brings our motley crew a sweet surprise. Unfortunately, it seems Zack is his own worst enemy. And that could lead to a sticky situation. <laughs> There's that wretched pair of do-gooders again. If there were only a way to grab that slippery little brat once and for all. Oh, every time my army gets close, he slithers through my fingers. Blast! Oh, such perfect timing. Buzz around that kid up there. Uh, okay. Sorry, did that it? Gotta be faster than that, Butterball. I could have gotten out of that on my own, you know. With my brains, there's nothing down here I can't ah! handle. Sorry, Mom. It didn't squash them. Squash them? <laughs> We deluded Lydia. We don't want to squash our carefree crew. We want to take them alive. But how's a lollipop going to... Lydia, what did I tell you about questioning Mama's schemes? Absurd. What is that? It's a lollipop. A giant ball of delicious, hardened, fruit-flavored sugar. Kids love them, dentists hate them. Well, my dentist does. Oh, bonus fact, they're really sticky. You definitely don't want to touch it. And ever since then, I never eat Mexican before my yoga class. Sugar, it won't be long before the ants show up. 
so much for instincts. No, guys, no, don't, don't. Let's just turn you around. Sugar Misha. Amazing instincts tell us we should do now, Instinct Einstein. Um, okay. Well, uh... uh where's Chowser and Sid when you need them? Guys, you gotta try this stuff. It's delicious. No shocker there. Chowser wouldn't turn down free candy if it was tied to the face of a dung beetle. Sid, give us a hand here. I don't have hands. Ugh. Oh, no! I'm here about the sugar. Right idea, buddy. Hop on. No, 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 no. You really Please. don't want to. Uh... Yeah. Help! Help! I don't get it. What's the point of getting a bunch of ants stuck? Ants? I don't care about the ants. I've gotten Zack and the insectables stuck. Those disgusting do-gooders won't leave that spot till every ant is free. Nat! 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 Oh, stop doing that! And the insectables are pinned down near the water pump. I need you to secure the location. Capture the enemy and report back to me. Aye, aye, aye sir. sir. You can leave now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, will you put a sock in it? We're working on it. Hey, I got it. We cover the lolly poop in dirt. Pop. Lolly pop. Whatever. It will de-stickify it, give it traction, so everyone can pull themselves off. Sid, hit it! Uh, okay. <laughs> now I'm stuck and I'm dirty. Ah, uh, just, just pour salt in me. I'm telling you, I got this. I don't think your drill is meant to cut sideways. You don't say. Now I'm stuck, dirty, and dangling. Man, this is my third worst birthday ever. What was your second? When I got caught in that spider web. See, the thing about spider webs is... All points are connected? I was going to say they give you a rash. May I please tell the rest of my That's story? It. <laughs> oh, come on. All points are connected. <gasps> Willow, you are a genius. I am? Yes. Okay, Sid, I need you back on crowd control. Yeah, for all the good that's gonna do. Guys? Not now, Chowser. Willow, I need one more burst of energy out of you. Just follow my lead. Guys, I, I think you need a One work. moment, Chowser. Willow, I need a dozen holes in that lollipop. What good will that do? Guys! What? what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, hurry, Willow. But it won't work. It will. Trust in my brain like I did with your instinct. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
They can all be connected. And that kiddos is how the lollipop crumbles. Seems we have a little roach problem. Chowser? Chowser steps up to the plate. The crowd goes silent. You wind up in the back and he swings! Oh. 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 And he knocks it out of the park! The crowd goes wild! Get them, you morons! Where are you going? Get back there, I command you! I gotta admit, brains and instincts can work together. I don't need to apologize, Will. Who's apologizing? I know you're gonna do something stupid and I'll have to save the day again. You save the day? No, 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 no. I, I save the day. Hey, no, well, well come back here. Uh, Not a word, Lydia. Not a word. Mm, yeah, just loop around the stasis rod like so. to take Zach's queen. Come on. We're playing checkers, Sid. Dag nabbit! I was so close. Everyone, go out to the fuse box and see what the problem is. Micro repairing can't be done in the dark. Don't worry, Gramps. We're on the... <laughs> Zach! Zach! I'm okay. Where is this fuse box already? <laughs> What's a fuse box? Controls the house's electricity. I used to blow pieces all the time when I was trying to break the record for most toasters. Those windows is easy enough to fix. All you have to do is. What are they doing in there? I don't know, but it can't be good. Come on, guys. Uh oh, quick, do it now. Got it. Made a loser! Shocking! Those villainous vermin have vexed the voltage. Can the insectables insulate themselves against such an electric threat? Or will they find themselves festeringly fried? Mm. <laughs> Delicious! My eyes! The roaches! Where are they? Gone! Huh? But look who they left behind! He looks pretty bad. That's different from his normal look. How? I'm serious! The roaches should be ashamed of themselves! Just leaving a poor, helpless bug like Matt just lying here! That's not all they left. What's with this wire? And where's it coming from? Like, where's it leading to? It was coming from the fuse box, which means... Oh, oh no! Adila must be siphoning power from Gramps' house! <laughs> Doesn't sound very good. Chowser, give me a lift! But what does Adila need power for? Oh, it could be anything! A bomb, a laser-guided <laughs> missile system, a killer robot, or... <gasps> a rechargeable electric dog rush! Whatever that is. There's no telling how much power she got before the fuse blew. Whatever it is, we need to track it down and destroy it before she has a chance to use it. That should bring the power back on in the shed. Come on, guys. We've got a wire to follow. But, but what about Nat? We can't just leave him here. <laughs> Dowser, why don't you take him back to the shed and have Gramps fix him up? We'll take care of the wire. Roger that! Oh, I feel bad for the little guy. All right, guys. And do you, Adam, take Melissa to be your lawfully wedded wife? I come through. I do. 
Jesus! his strength back up, he's going right back to the pump. Last thing we need is for Adilla to come looking for him. So don't get too attached, Chowser. <laughs> Time to get back to work. Now if I leave out the triangular aperture around the carbon net. Oh, Gramps! Look! It looks like Nat's reading her diagrams! Aww. Oh, oh, these plans are so advanced, even I can barely understand them. It would take a miracle for any insect to make heads or tails of them, but uh, you keep trying, Nat. <laughs> Just one more, and I'll set the yard record. <laughs> hey, no! <laughs> Top of the pile over there? Here you go. Oh no, uh, not that. Uh, that's just something Zach's dad jotted down once. Looks quite interesting, actually. Yeah, but I could never find the other half. Uh, hand me the one underneath. Hmm, I wonder if bypassing the Ames array through the deflector can give us enough to power up the M yield. What do you think, Chowser? Sometimes I just need someone to bounce ideas off of, you know? What do you think about my M yield idea? Uh, uh, <laughs> I love it too! Hey, it's almost as if you understand what I'm saying! You know what, Nat? You're all right! <laughs> Not suspicious. Maybe if we turn the handle, something bad will happen. Maybe if we don't turn the handle, something bad will happen. <sighs> well, only one way to find out. Wait, Zach. <laughs> what if it's a trap? Well, then I guess I'll just have to count on you guys to save me. I like what she's doing with her hair. What's the note say? <laughs> Take that laser. What? Oh, they, I think I mean losers. Ha. Hey, I didn't know the roaches could write. Wait a minute. Oh, this was a distraction. To get us away from the Shrinkinator. The oh, Adilator goons could be at the shed as we speak. When that could be perfect. Look at 
Shriekinator's molecular intake, which feeds directly into its ionic core. Get it? <laughs> oh, 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 Nat, folks underestimate you, but you've got potential. I'll make an inventor out of you yet. Come on, we're almost there. Are you all right? Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? What about Adela? And Nat? I... 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 I don't want to talk about it! <laughs> oh, and Nat went back to the pump. Uh, we asked him to stay, but the poor little guy didn't want to put us in any danger by sticking around, I guess. So noble. So he didn't try to hurt you? Or take anything? Take anything? <laughs> no, of course not. Left with nothing but the party hat on his head, as they say. Party hat? Hmm. Unless... What? Ah, uh, nothing. Ridiculous thought. He wouldn't be able to figure out what was written on that thing in a million years. We're A-OK. -okay. Well, did you get anything? Information? Anything of value! Looking good. Ah! When are you idiots going to do something right? Hey, we, we, we did our part. I mean, that's why it took us all day to run through the yard. That's the one who came back empty-handed. True! Get out of my sight, you disgusting fool! And take off that stupid, useless 